arguably one of the greatest hotel chains in the world, the Four Seasons, finally open in Orlando, Florida. We're here at Ravello, and my guest is the food critic of this city, so it should be an interesting experience. <laughs> Chef Sam. Hi. Nice a to meet you. baby face, but he assures me he's a lot older than he looks. Correct. I've selected a veal milanese. All right, we have some veal tenderloin here, so we can get started on pounding it out. Start in the middle and work your way out. Right. How flat do you want this? A little bit thinner. Zorsty. Hard work, right? <laughs> Chef, how are we doing? Doing very Keep well. Keep going. Let's take a look here. Exhausted. Well done. So now we'll season it. You want to get the pepper? Sure, for me? lovely. I'm generous with the pepper. Now we take it over here. Yep. purpose flour into the egg. And these breadcrumbs are from a ciabatta? Ciabatta bread, yes. Fabulous. We're using a blended olive oil. Lovely. How many minutes on either side? Three minutes. We're already starting to brown. Yeah, lovely. Oh, that's got a nice color to it now. Just a little bit of butter and yeah. that butter I've noticed there. that chefs like to use butter. Gives you all kinds of flavor, right? So it's nice, dark, golden brown. We're good. One of the other unique things that I discovered at Ravello is they make all the vinaigrettes fresh. Yes. So we're going to make one that accompanies the veal milanese. This mustard will emulsify it. Beautiful white anchovies. We have a little bit of garlic. Got to have garlic. About 20 leaves of fresh basil. A little bit of red onion. We have a nice aged red wine vinegar. Put it on a variable speed. And now you want to feed a little oil? Yeah, in. absolutely. This is where it's emulsifying right now. We are emulsifying. We'll turn it down and give it a little taste. Interesting. All right, let's have your verdict. Good. Now, I presume we finished the salad. Panzanella bread salad. We start with focaccia croutons. Yep. Just a small handful. Take your dressing here. Yes. And give it a nice Impressive. little coat. Got it. And just stir it up Mix a little them bit. up? Yeah, absolutely. It's we a have very red onion. simple garnish. Very, yeah. yeah, very simple salad. And then you add the tomatoes, cucumber. Yep. And then we want to season this a little bit. You like salt, don't you? Yeah. Baby arugula. Lovely. Lightning. Yes, it's gleaming and glistening now. Let's give it a taste. Up to you. I love this job. OK, let's go, chef. So a little bit of lemon. We can yep. just season it again a little bit. Of course, it would be one right? of yours without <laughs> a little salt, Sam. Run the salad right over it. That's it right there. Nice job, chef. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. I am very lucky today. I have a very special guest. I've known her for a mere 20-odd years, Heather McPherson. She single-handedly could open or close restaurants. Welcome. Thank you, Robert. So great to be here. So great to see you. I've been slaving in the kitchen with <laughs> Chef Sam. You will see the fruits of our work later. You made this? No, but he did. Okay. What we got? This is a stuffed olive with ground veal, pork, and beef, Parmesan cheese. Then we fry them and toss a little bit of the lemon juice on there. Thank okay. you, Chef. You're Back welcome. to the kitchen. So You're welcome. <laughs> bon appetit. Oh, man. The olive really pops right away in your mouth. The outer coating is crispy, but not too much. He's spot on. She's everything. good. Oh, I like mm, her I'm enthusiasm. <laughs> what do you think? I love mm. the filling. I love the way it's been fried. So, you're one of the only people I know that is paid to eat. Yeah, it's a great gig, I have to tell you. But it is one that I do not take lightly. This is a creste pasta. The creste is the shape. It looks kind of like a rooster's comb. And then we oven roast some tomatoes with herbs and garlic, and a little garlic and crushed red pepper. Zucchini, finish it with olive oil. Very simple, just let the flavor speak for themselves. Looks very healthy. Looks fabulous. Thank you, Chef. I love the shape of this pasta. Mm. It's good. Mm. The tomatoes. So many home cooks don't take the time to roast tomatoes, and it brings that flavor forth. Heather, everyone I know would like your job. <laughs> What do I have to do to get into this? I think you have to have an authentic love of food. Oh, I know yeah. that you do, too. You know, the word delicious in my job means nothing. Right. Why is it delicious? Right. You have to describe the food so they know exactly what it tastes like. A lady wordsmith. <laughs> Coming up next, it's entree time, veal milanese. You are anxious to try your dish. Yes. Any complaints, it was my fault. <laughs> It's 
entree time, and as you know, I personally had an involvement in this. Please tell Heather what we're having. This is veal milanese. All right. This is the hand that hammered your <laughs> veal. Thank you. And tell us about this divine-looking vegetable. So we have some sautéed asparagus with a fresh sunny-side-up egg and then some shaved Parmesan cheese. And is it a local egg? It is, Lake Meadows Farm. Oh, one of the great local awesome. Central Florida farms. Thank you, Chef. Enjoy. What a beautiful dish. Very nice. Well, let's cut that yolk to let all that run down there. OK, watch That's this. A, yeah. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Try that first. Oh, that yolk has mm. such a wonderful developed flavor. Egg, cheese, asparagus, divine. Look at you. You are anxious to try your dish. Yes. Thank you, sir. Any complaints, it was my fault. <laughs> so you pounded our veal, correct? Yes. All right. We did the whole thing together. I will be working here on Saturday night. <laughs> Nice, tender, full-flavored. When chefs pick quality ingredients, it's so apparent on the plate. Too. But when chefs choose great assistants, it What's helps. Great? I'm fortunate to understand how you have such passion for everything Florida. I do, I do. Particularly the Florida waters. No other state is like us. We have the Atlantic, curve around to the Keys, and we have the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, yeah. There happens to be this amazing Look what we have here. <laughs> new cookbook, and it's got lovely stories, and it's all about the Florida waters. It is. You know, we all have enough cookbooks. What we want is the recipe and the story behind the mm. food. Well, I love it. You do a beautiful job. Thank you so much. You also have another book, Field to Feast. Excellent, yes. And it's actually the precursor to a good catch. We wanted to paint this picture of Florida agriculture. Heather McPherson, absolutely wonderful food wonderful critic, oh. author. Thank you for being my guest. And come back soon. I would love to. Good to see you, Robert. Enjoyed having you here at Ravello.